so welcome everyone this is mr prem so today we are going to discuss how to write a data into excel sheet before writing into excel sheet your project should be configured for apache poi so if it is not configured go to the my first video of this series and configure your project for apache poi okay so without wasting time let's start let's make a new class here so i will right click on package and go to the new and select the class writing and i will choose the main method from here and click on finish so whether you are reading or writing you need to take this workbook into your java program so how it is taken for this so very first thing we need to read workbook read workbook so how to read the workbook for reading workbook there is a two classes in the apache poi if your file extension is dot xls you need to take the help of what hssf classes the classes which is starting with hssf and if your uh, file extension is dot xls x then you need to take the help of what xssf classes from apache poi okay so currently my file extension is dot xlsx so how to check the file extension you need to right click your uh, workbook and you need to go to the properties you can see you are getting the xlsx as a extension okay everyone so my file is what dot xlsx so i need to take the help of what xssf classes so x ssf very first we need to read the workbook so i will say work book and i will press the control space so it will give the suggestion workbook wb equals to new x ssf workbook and into this i need to use new file input stream to take that file as a input new file input stream and here we need to give the path of my file with the double quotes where is my file on desktop so i need to take the path right click go to the properties and path and double slash give the file name also data dot x l s x okay now there is a some kind of what error is coming what is that error mouse over it is telling to handle the exception file not found exception so what i will do i will ignore this exception by writing here throws exception exception is a parent of what all exception so now you can see i have included the parent class and it has stop giving the error so after reading the workbook we need to read the sheet okay so where is my sheet inside the workbook there are multiple sheets let's open this workbook and inside this you will find multiple sheet sheet 1 and sheet 2 so my data is inside what sheet 1 so i need to tell the java program to read from the sheet 1 so how to tell here we need to use wb since wb here is workbook and our sheet is in workbook only okay everyone hence we will write wb dot get sheet and here we need to give the sheet name in the double quotes sheet 1 okay if you mouse over on this get sheet function it is going to return you the which kind of object it is going to return you the object of what x ssf sheet so we can store into the this variable x ssf sheet sh you can give the any name to the that object now you need to import this x ssf sheet from apache poi by mouse over and select it okay so we have read the sheet now suppose you are interested in reading the data 
so suppose you are interested in reading demo 1 2 3 so which row which column third row and second column but apache boy reads in the terms of what index so what is the index of row of this demo 1 2 3 so index start from 0 so 0 1 2 so this is the second row and which column 0 and 1 that is first column so demo 1 2 3 is going to have the second row and first column in terms of index okay everyone so suppose you want to read so what you will say sh dot get row which row in terms of index second and in that row which cell get cell 1 dot two string function we need to call to convert the data into the string format whatever the data is there i need to convert into the string format so it will give you the string type of what object string sh okay no sh we cannot use since uh, we have already used sh there string data okay you can print here see so and let's run it so you can see demo 1 2 3 it is printing now suppose i want to update in spite of demo 1 2 3 i want to update my name i want to write here prem so how to write so sh dot get row which row second row get cell which cell first cell and dot what i need to say here i need to say in spite of what getting the data i want to set the data so i will say set a cell value and it is overloaded method so you can pass boolean you can pass the calendar value you can pass double you can pass the string anything so i will select any one and type whatever i am interested to type there so i want to type there pray before running you should close your excel file so let's run it right click and run as java application so it has run successfully let's open the excel file to see whether that prem is written or not the prem is not written here why so so the reason is whatever writing process is happening it is not happening in the actual file it is happening inside the java's buffer memory so see line number 13 in the line number 13 a copy of that excel file is taken the actual excel file is not taken actual excel file is not taken a copy of that file is taken into the java's memory and whatever typing is happening that is inside the java's buffer memory only okay so we need to export the file from java's buffer memory to actual memory so how to do that we need to say that wb dot wb is my workbook and i want to get updated workbook so i will say the workbook dot write and here we need to use file output stream to get into the my physical memory wb dot write and here we need to say new file output stream and give the path of your excel file with a name so i will you use the same path and same file name okay everyone so i will copy fine and now let's run and before running i will close my excel file so let's run as a application and let's open the excel file let's see whether it is updated see it is updated now suppose i want to write into this cell so which row which column this this is the second row and second column i want to write here where there is no data where there is a no data let's do the writing there so i will copy this line of code and paste which column now it's a second column so i will just update the column so i will write the prem there once more see whether it is able to write or not i will close my excel file and let's run it right click run as java application see i am getting the null pointer exception at line number 22 see line number 22 where is my line number 22 here why we are getting so 
since you are trying to write to sell which does not exist which does not exist the data does not exist here you can see the data does not exist for apache poi this much is only the scope this much is only the scope and you are trying to write some data beyond that scope means the cell does not exist for apache poi okay so if it is not there then we need to say to create the cell okay so in spite of get cell we need to say here what create cell which cell Let's create cell 2 so this is the cell that we are interested to write now i will run before that we need to close the file and let's run it run as java application now successfully run and there is no error i will open my data.xls you see the frame is written now suppose we are interested to write here which row this is the fourth row in terms of index and third column sorry second column in terms of index okay so let's write the code for this get row which row fourth row fourth row fourth row in terms of index and second column in terms of index okay now so now before running we need to close that excel file and now run you will get again null pointer exception why since that row does not exist no we are saying get row but that row does not exist so in spite of what get row what we need to say we need to say create row now let's run once more run as job application this time it is successful see it has written the frame okay so that's all for writing purpose so we have seen three scenario first scenario was for for reading data from cell if row and column both exist and second scenario was reading the data from cell if row is there and column is not there and third scenario we have seen third scenario and this is what second scenario if row and column both are not there okay so that's all for this video everyone thanks a lot for watching have a great day